Island. Wait, wait, I have it. <laughs> I'm a genius. You'll kill the kids from Dawson's Creek. I knew it, I knew it. As soon as that show came on the air, I said, I'm gonna be the one who has to kill these kids. It's true, he did say it. A bunch of hot young celebrities, it's perfect. <laughs> the kids are on their way to LA to renegotiate their contract. But, <laughs> but their plane is gonna be making a little stopover in Rhode Island. If you go right now, you can catch the flight. Forget it, Death. I'm not gonna do your dirty work. There's no way I'm getting on that plane. Absolutely no way. And that's final. See? I'm still here. And there's nothing you can say that'll change my mind. Either you kill them or I kill you. Ah, oh, crap. Hey, nice plan. Out to self. Do not go to the bathroom. Look, James, your last movie was killer at the box office. Your Q rating is through the roof. It's time we ditch the WB and concentrate on features. Sir, I don't know who you are, but just because you're sitting across from me doesn't mean you can give me career advice. Oh. Will you sign my ass? Do you have a pen? Hello, hello, Death? Guess where I'm calling from? A plane! <laughs> yeah, that's great. Listen, those kids on board? Yeah, uh, uh about that. I I don't think I can go through with it. Peter, listen, without death, the world would be a terrible place. Imagine a world where Hitler was still alive. Today on Hitler, we'll be talking with Hollywood hunk Christian Slater. Now, they tell me in your next movie, we get to see your butt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, yes, you do. Can, can we see it right now? Mm. Well, uh, <laughs> all right, Hitler. Oh, oh, he's going to do it! If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like tickets to Hitler, call 213. Look, Peter, all you gotta do is sit there. The plane is gonna crash in LA. Pilot error, big mess, everybody dies. Jeez, everybody? Except you. Hold on, I'm getting another call. Brenda? Still me. Oh. Brenda? Yes? <laughs> Just kidding. It's still me. <laughs> we now begin our final approach into Los Angeles International. If you look out the window to your right, you'll see the San Fernando Valley, where my brother Gary makes a very nice living directing porn. We'll be on the ground in 10 minutes. Ah, oh, jeez. We like being alive. We like being alive. We like being a, we like being a, we like being alive. I guess it's their time. Boy, Miss Jacobs, for a teacher, you sure make love good. Actually, it's well, Pacey. You mean to say I make love well. You're good to go again, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Peter, hello, Peter. Peter, are you there? I can hear you breathing. Uh, yeah, I'm here. And you can forget it. I changed my mind. I don't care if you do kill me. I'm not gonna kill those kids. If they die, I'll have nothing to watch on Wednesdays. Other than the fine programs on Fox. Hey, open up in there. Hey, what are you doing? You're not a pilot. I know every pilot in the world. I'm here to keep you from making an error. A pilot error. Geez, I probably should have worn mittens. Nice going, fat. Hey, hey, I was just trying to save your lives. But now you're all gonna die. There's no one who can land this plane. I can. <gasps> Thank God. It's Karen Black. She landed a busted plane in Airport 75? It was a movie in the 70s. Ah, you damn kids with your music. Both of the pilots were killed. Unfortunately for the other passengers, actress Karen Black, star of such films as Nashville and Five Easy Pieces, was on board. Our hats are off to Miss Black for proving once again that given the opportunity, actresses over 50 can land large aircraft. <laughs> Karen Black.